defending myself with sheer attack means if I'm getting penalized for that. That's wrong, Miss Betty. That's wrong. It's wrong for y'all doing that to me. Why are you crying? Let's go to the gallery. I'm going to go out and shot something in this bitch. Yo, bitches want to play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. Want to play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. Just want to play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. Want to play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. Just want to play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. Ricky Mama said that, yeah, I want this shit, you know it's bloody bitch, and ain't got shit on me. Let you know it's bad, it's got more like me. What is going on, entertainment? So today I'm coming to y'all with another video. Okay, before I get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what y'all think about this video. Okay, so we talk a little bit of baddies and everything else. Okay, now last night's episode, of course, aired. A lot of people still have some things to say about the whole situation with Tasiki and Dolly. Tasiki, Tasiki says some stuff. I'm gonna call her Takashi. Tasiki. Ah, Tasiki, oh man, Tasiki said some things in regards to the whole situation, which I'm already seeing where this is going. Tasiki, that girl, she got more lives than a cat because every season we gonna get a good reunion fight from her, and it's already shaping up to be her versus Dolly. I mean, like it's becoming predictable at this point. We're standing next to each other. Yeah, me and Dolly was just talking to each other. Like that shit just happened so fast, so fast, and everybody like, oh shit, if you liquor, bitch, if a bitch like me push you and you got liquor in your hand or something, you better throw it. You better do something. You better do something. Like I don't know why people like you know it's a fight. That's what happens. You know what I mean? Like, but if I could have went back and changed a lot of things, I would have. I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for saying this or not, but yeah, like I if. If, and that's why I didn't keep fighting her. Like I didn't want to fight her. Like I actually like Dolly. I like the accent. She's pretty to me. And it's like, it's what it is. Whatever. You know these fans gonna pump niggas' heads up. And it's her first season, so I don't know how she move with shit. You know me. I does this shit. But she threw a drink. I threw a punch. But if it could have, if I could have rewinded back, like me and her would have been cool as fuck. Me and her would have been cool because we we don't have we wasn't no beef for her. It was just. If how I moved when that shit happened with her honor, I would expect to say, I don't know how the episode's gonna go, but I do know before me and her fought, me and her was standing next to each other. Yeah, me and Dolly was just talking to each other. Like, okay, that now, uh, Dolly also, this was before the episode dropped, y'all. Dolly has some things to say about the episode after seeing it air. So funny to me because y'all. Y'all was doing all that talking and talking about I got big. Where are y'all now? Clearly, as you can see, when a stain left on me, like, what is y'all saying? Like, what y'all at now? Y'all mad now, right? Yeah, but I'm just saying, y'all mad now, right? Now y'all don't have nothing to say. I did not get my... And talking about I didn't get her wig, baby. I don't pull her. I scrape fights. I don't pull her. It's so funny to me because y'all... Y'all was doing all that talking and talking about I got beat. Where are y'all now? Clearly, as you can see, when a stain left on me, like, what is y'all saying? Like, where y'all at now? Y'all mad now, right? Yeah, but I'm just saying. Okay, now she said, are y'all happy she ain't did nothing to me and I threw juice. Tinker threw dot in my eye. It's the difference. Clock that whole drunk it. No, not no black eye, no toothpaste. I've heard for a friend. Some of y'all in my comments say I've seen the knot. Please screenshot the knots and send it to me because I didn't see the knot. I even went back and was like, maybe, you know, Pierre, you missed it. I didn't see a knot. I saw Ivory's knot, but I didn't see Dolly's knot. <laughs> Dolly had a knot in her head, a, de a Bantu knot twisted curl, okay, a bumpy curl that she had a little bit on her head. Maybe I confused it that for the knot, but. I don't. I didn't see a dot. I didn't see a dot. I will say though, I don't want to see Dolly and Tuskegee fight at the reunion. The reason why is because everything now is becoming so repetitive, and it's to the point where like you're kind of falling into the trap of what they're setting before you. So you might not want to fall down that hole and just, you know, 
focus on the other girls. Not that I think she's just going to lose terribly like a diamond. I just don't want her to feed into the crap. Because now people are going to try to push her to just fight to see get this reunion. One is Zoo Scripted. Well, Zoo Scripted is what you guys get. Apparently, y'all, Tzatziki goes on live. It lets us know the whole scene was scripted. I already kind of peeped this, you guys, because it was blatantly obvious when Dolly pushed Anna and she giggled. This is why I'm, like, low-key gearing my channel to go a different direction in 2025. Because this is just unacceptable at this point. It's one thing for you guys to sort of, like, conjure up storylines and, you know, kind of, like, add to stuff. But to just damn make up something and make up a beef, it's ridiculous. Dolly included, because y'all swear I let her play favorites. It bothers me. Reality TV, you guys, is slowly but surely becoming dead. Obsolete. Nothing. It's sad. Come on, let's talk about it. I didn't even find out that that beef was fake until after. That's why Anna was saying, Tifa, Tifa, Tifa. Anna wasn't saying Tifa, Tifa, because she, because what? Anna was saying Tifa. I knew Anna was screaming bloody murder for something, because, oh my God. <laughs> Tifa! Tifa because Anna knew that she was going to fake push her. I'm the one that didn't know. It's called scripted reality, ho. I'm the reality and you hoes are scripted. Stop playing with me. Motherfuckers were scared they was going to get sent home. So let's, let's, let's make a... See, y'all need to call, y'all need to give me my tens. And uh, I'm going to talk about something a little bit after this. But uh, y'all, that's why I need to give you, y'all need to give me my tens. Because just me after watching that last night, I already peed what was going on. Duh, Dolly was told you get the squabble or you get the okay. And guess what? She did what she had to do, which I don't agree with it because this isn't zoo scripted. This is supposed to be a reality show, right? Up a plan. That's what the fuck was going on. And hey, Hot Show right here didn't know. Crazy thing is, the only one that didn't know the fucking plan is me. Only one that didn't know the plan was me. That's why I was skating across that motherfucking parking lot, ho. No, I ain't never scripted, bitch. I'm reality. Them bitches is scripted. Them bitches script they sell because they be nervous. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I went very, very, like, I didn't even fight for real. I didn't even fight because I'm like, dang, I actually like this girl. What the fuck? That was my real fucking reaction. But for bitches to get up on the gram and say all this weird shit, like, come on now. It was never even no beef. Huh, but shit got hectic. The motherfuckers start play fighting. Let's play fight for it so we can stay on the show. A little live with the dolly girl she's talking about my whole thing is with tzatziki although i agree with what she's saying let's not act like you didn't conjure up and script your own drama with jelly bean last season you know that damn way that girl was not mean to stand next to your man jelly bean by as ditzy as the actual jelly bean harry bow oh my said you really thought that bitch was trying to take your nigga as dingy as her wig be licking Get out. This is why I'm telling I can't do to think it because it's like you'll be the one to call people out, but you gotta call your own stuff out too, Boogie Butt. Because that last season was given very much made up. You know damn well you had no trouble, you had no beef with that girl. Come on now, let's be real. I just feel like if we're gonna be real, like let's keep all the way back, like let's call out everybody's BS's because Dolly was that ass wrong for just making up that whole situation and trying to stay on the show, but all the girls do it. Just like Tzatziki did in the past. Okay. The difference is this time somebody was just unaware, according to Tzatziki, about the fight. I do believe her, though. I will say I don't think she actually knew because I don't think she would actually push her as hard because that push was a nigga push. Now, Summer, this is not your fight to fight. Like, Tzatziki's going to knock you into another season. Like, we're going to have to start calling you springtime. Because just stay out of it. You saw what happened to Diamond. I don't want it to happen to you. Because instead of your tooth being knocked out, the bitch going to knock your gums out. And I don't want you looking like a pretty bee. Like, please don't do that. You're going to end up gummy. And I don't want that for you. Now, Dolly, on the other hand, may be able I to do something with her. But you, on the other hand, Miss Ma'am, Summer, sit it out. Bitch, you did all that motherfucking shit trying to help Jayla, trying to do that. That bitch couldn't even be a real bitch and tell you you was not, not, not in the fuck up. What did I say, bitch? Not today. 
stupid. Bitch, you got your ass beat. And you still want to fight, bitch. No bitches couldn't even be real enough to tell you that you lost. No big Irie, little Irie, bitch. Big Lex. Oh, my mama, bitch. You know what the fuck going on, ho? My bitch was still pretty, ho. Uh, bitch, like my bitch said, look in that mirror. Look in that motherfucking camera, bitch. My bitch still pretty. Bitch, you around this bitch. That crown is gone, bitch. The crown you thought you had, because, bitch, I still ain't watch you. I met you on Zeus, and that's it. I never heard of you, saw you, or even cared for you, bitch, and I still don't. So let's give it up for the heavyweight champs, Dolly and motherfucking Lex, because Siki, oh my mama, she gave you that. She ran you that. My bitch was pretty as well. The difference between me and you bitches, y'all bitches don't lie to each other. Me and my bitches don't lie to each other about nothing. And I'm not about to lie to no bitch, whether she's my friend or not, not about anything, bitch. I'm gonna let you know what the fuck it is and what the fuck it ain't. That's what separates us. That's the difference. You bitches tell each other what y'all want to hear and not what y'all need to hear. Let me show y'all how I kept out these hoes is. Siki, how the fuck Dolly threw liquor in your motherfucking eyes when in the scene it shows last night that Anna is helping you put back on your lashes, bitch. Everybody know that got liquor in their fucking face, eyes, or anything. Bitch, your shit really be burning. How much was it really burning, bitch, if you ready to put your lashes back on? Clock it. Dolly couldn't put no lashes on. My bitch needed water. I was over there trying to fix. It just, y'all hoes got to try that shit again. Run that shit again. Run that shit the fuck back. I bitch, you. Now, although I, I say she do these stay out of it, I do agree. And this is what I want to say from earlier. A lot of you guys in the fan, and it's not the OG entertainers. It's the newer people coming on here. Y'all take this show too serious. It is not that deep for me. I swear to God. Do you hear me? Y'all do y'all take this baddies thing to like the death. Like it bothers y'all and y'all sleep of an opinion. I could care less. That's why I even do the after show. I literally am letting people talk and, and say things I may not agree with. If y'all think I care that bad, I wouldn't even do an after show. Because some of the comments, y'all be tripping me out. Because I'm like, y'all really care that bad? Somebody commented, ooh, because I said something about the scripted thing. They said, oh, so your friend is... I'm like, friend? I don't know none of these baddies. Y'all need to let that show go and not take it so serious because it is not that deep. I swear to you, it is not. And now that we're finding out a lot of it is fake, it's really not that deep for me. When Natalie said, I'm key, I find this to be key in Natalie's voice. What's wrong with y'all? Now, Abar V did confirm this whole scripted situation. She said, this is true. I was right there when it was put together, but Tzatziki wasn't told from Anna, so it wasn't Tzatziki and Sticks to slide her, either her friend, but it was scripted. Anna and Dolly both agreed to argue, so this is really Akbar just confirming the whole situation. Which I don't know what Lemmy Pepper thinks about this because isn't this a violation of y'all contract? I know he is livid, okay? He's somewhere in that black hoodie tripping. Now, Anna Mac, on the other hand, is refuting these alcohol rumors. And claims that there was no Lekka in Tzatziki's eyes. That is not true, Summer. Her eye was red and watery the whole time. That's why we couldn't put the lash on. Stop lying. They literally, we was in the back for like 25, 30 minutes. They chopped that because what the fuck do you need 30 minutes for? She was out there getting her eye flushed and the medical came to flush her eye. And that still wasn't enough. Water didn't do it, nothing. She wasn't even able to put a lash on because she had a cut on her eye and her eye kept watering from the liquor. She couldn't even put the lash on. So there's nothing to be clapped there, actually. I just feel like baddies, the, it, 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 the illusion is slowly but surely breaking. Like, we're losing the illusion, okay? How that lady got saw it like a perfect illusion. Oh. Like, we losing it. We're losing it, okay? Anyways, y'all, off to Krishan. Now, Krishan, you guys uh, did file a restraining order against her ex, as you guys saw a few days ago, where the ex was basically harassing her in the middle of that mall now this was already uh filed a little bit before and they have a hearing date on the 29th and then also on the third so i really hope with this situation it gets resolved by paternity test i will never sit here and say that the baby does look like that guy i will say that just a little bit Okay, so I just feel like the proper way to really make this do go away, give them the paternity, unless you're not sure of it. And that's where 
Krishan's character would come into question because if the baby's revealed to not be uh, blue faces, then that's going to cause even bigger issues than ever. Okay? Because that then shows that you're a liar. So what else have you been lying about? If the baby you had isn't even the guy that you've been claiming that it was that you have tattooed all over you. So that's why I feel like the paternity test needs to be done. Not for his, you know, the dude's ego, but just so that you have some peace and Krishan Jr. can have some peace. Because let's really talk about it. That baby hasn't had the best peace since he's been born. Now, Carlissa, you guys, has went live and spoke about this situation too. Just give him what he asked for so she could get rid of him. That's what I would do. I would give him that test that day and, and the results too. Now, okay. be gone. Because just imagine, if she give him that test, she don't never have to talk to him again. Because y'all already know I know it's my baby. I don't play like that. Y'all see, y'all hear me saying nothing. How, how bad I wish I could, honey. I don't say nothing. I don't play with no kids. I just say, just give him what he asked for. So she Girl right here. Junior. Oh, he said Okay, this is why I agree with Carlissa. Carlissa be speaking facts, okay? Say what you want, but it's true. The paternity test would put him away completely because if he continues to harass you, that's when you really get the feds involved because you just got a plain old stalker on your hands for no reason, okay? And now you, now you already have evidence about it. Now, Krishan recently spoke on live and talked about how, you know, her and Blueface's sanctity of marriage was completed, y'all. All behind a jail cell. We're not together. Y'all know. Y'all been following my little journey with surrendering, giving up secular music. Uh, people, places, and things. That's what I call it, right? Just giving it up for real, for real. And then just trying to, like, navigate this journey with God for real. So, I'm um, in the midst of that. At the end of October, my child's father, he get the name tatted on a jaw. Then he get a pass on the phone and we say our vows. We married November 2nd. He moved. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me tell you something about that, Krishan. Krishan reminds me of Nikki Parker, okay, from the Parkers. Krishan is a Baltimore skinny Nikki Parker because she will never leave Professor Ogilvy alone. Like, <laughs> Sorry. Professor Ogilvy is sick and tired of being drunk through the bed. Okay? Moving like, like God sent him or something. You are, I'm baby stepping in for real, for real. And I say baby step is because we didn't do the marriage license. I didn't come out saying, oh, we married. Oh, my man, my man, my man. I didn't. We were literally like just protecting whatever we did for each other to heal for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not everything is meant for the public, blah, blah, blah. No, we're not together. Y'all know. Y'all been following my little journey with some. So basically what you're saying is you guys are common law married. Okay. <sighs> See no change in now, this is a video footage of the whole tattoo dedicated to Krishan, which Blueface has gotten a lot more since being behind the clinker, okay? Um, so, I just don't feel like it's appropriate to just keep putting God into that whole mix and keep bringing him up in regards to the whole situation. Because it's, it's, it's low-key like... It's low-key blasphemous, just a little bit. Just a little, it's a little bit blasphemous, not only that, and it's a little bit disrespectful. That's just how I feel about it. And I don't think that at this point, the internet really cares about what's going on between them. So prayers go out to Tommy, you guys. Apparently, she's been uh, involved in some DV situation to where her Achilles tendon was torn, okay? Now, this was all done i'm guessing in jamaica she's apparently dating this dude who is has a history of abuse and she posted a post which i'm not going to show the full situation because of just 
for just for, for just appropriateness, okay? Because nobody just wants to see an open Achilles tendon, okay? I know some people just don't want to just see that. She said, I'd rather be delusional than depressed. God got me. Thanks for y'all prayers. Love y'all. Now, she recently went live, which I did catch, and spoke about that whole situation and how people are saying that it's karma, okay? Hey, y'all. Hey, now I'm home. I'm going to take a bath. Whew. That was a long situation. I have surgery tomorrow. I miss hopping now. I got to hop around. I don't need. I'm gonna make the most of it. Oh! I make the most of everything. And it is what it is. This is my new product. I came on here because I see a lot of people saying that, oh, it's karma. Oh, she came with a BB gun. Real life in a TV show is never the same thing. Hold on, let me turn this off so you can really hear me. Oh. Real life in a TV show is never the same thing. It's never the same thing. And the reason it was what it was was because I value real life. And the temperature of the climate of where I was at, it could have been a real gun. Let's just say that. Because in those states, you can just walk in with the ID and you can just buy a gun. So the reason the choice was what it was is because I value real life. Real life and TV is not the same thing. And I try to make you guys aware of that. What's going on with me is real life. And it's real jealousy. And it's real hatred. And it's real evil. For no apparent reason. And for those who want to make a joke, be, be my guest. Go. Do it. Do it. Because that karma that you speak of, when you make jokes like that, like I return to Cinder every time and it can happen to you. So, you know what I mean? You don't know the story, you don't know what's going on and everything that, like, that you find funny could turn into you. I'm never a weak link. I'm never gonna be like, oh, none of that. It is what it is. I get surgery tomorrow, my second and my last surgery. It is what it is. Um, apart from that, I appreciate everybody who prayed for me and wish me well, all the things like that. Y'all know I'm not big on this. I'm like coming here and just doing this whole thing, but I have several people that's coming to me like, no, Tommy, you need to say something. So I'm saying something. It's not the same thing. What happened over there, when people wanted me to get jumped and this whole narrative y'all made for my whole life throughout TV and, and the producers too, y'all let fall. It goes back to love and hip hop. The whole narrative y'all made for my life and this person that y'all created and partly of who I am, partly not. But people that love me and care about me feel like that I shouldn't let it go on and just be what they saying it is and from shit like this. Like nothing can even happen to me without people thinking like, oh, it's karma. Oh, she deserves this and oh, whatever. I know from the facts of what happened, I don't deserve it. I know from the facts of me being there and whatever, I don't care what I did on TV and I'll do it again a thousand times over if my life is at risk. I'll do it again. Quote me, jot it down, take a screenshot, note that in your memory bank. But 
this is two different things just to say that and i'll see you guys because yeah this came and say that this is, i don't have a lot of strength to keep on talking um it is what it is babes if you feel like that post it be my guest be my guest post it write what you feel this is karma this is deja vu this is ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, whatever you feel babe but like for those who give a fuck about me and who knows the type of person i am this ain't that this ain't that i'm so happy to take a bath right now i'm so happy to take a bath oh my god i gotta go but um yeah Live it up, guys. However, all the negative people, I encourage you. I encourage you to say that. This is what she gets. This is what she... I encourage you. Go. Go off, baby. Go off. But just know that the karma doesn't stop with me. <laughs> Good night. Now, somebody who thinks that, you know, that this is karma for her because of the BB situation is Roly. Rolly was trolling and king at this whole situation because she feels like, where was your BB in regards to your foot? She said, LOL, karma. Tommy, where that little BB at now? Somebody said, how that foot? My whole thing is, I wouldn't say anything in regards to DV is somebody's karma. But I do believe you get what you put out there in the universe. You traumatized someone that has been through pow pow violence, Akbar, and now you're in a situation where you've experienced some type of violence. What I say is deserve? No, because no woman deserves DV. But what I say, what you put out there in the universe, it comes back tenfold, 100%. So when I saw this on the internet, it didn't shock me at all. It kind of didn't even surprise me. I didn't... <gasps> It was just sort of like, okay, this is another Tommy situation, okay? Hopefully, she does get better because one thing about Tommy, she's going to rock them fashions and she's going to give us a good uh, a good walk in heel towel. So, it's like stuff like this is really going to set her back in regards to her coin. So, I just hope that she does get justice for this because for a nigga to do something like that, that's some savagery type of ish. And who knows what he might do to the next woman if he gets away with something like this. Now, Roly, you did as wrong, girl, okay? Let me know what y'all think down below about some of these topics, you guys. Do y'all think Baddies is losing its illusion? Would you guys unsubscribe to me if I stop covering Zeus? I just want to know. Let me know what y'all think down below, and we're all babies. Ain't no personal thing.